Hello there, welcome to the A-Level Maths Pure Paper 1 of June 2023. Here we're looking at question 14. Prove using algebra that um, n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed is odd for all n existing in the natural numbers. Okay, well let's start off by expanding this. n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed. So let's expand these brackets. n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1 minus n cubed. And um, let's uh, expand now. So n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 minus n cubed. And we're going to get 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Now, ideally, we'd have 2 times something and then add 1. And that would definitely prove it's odd for all n. But when we've got 3, it's a little bit more complicated. So... What we have to now think about is, well, if n was even, then what would we get out as the answer? And if n was odd, what would we get out as the answer? So if n is even, then we could rewrite n as 2k. So 3 lots of 2k squared had 3 lots of 2k plus 1. So let's expand the brackets. Now we're going to get 4k squared times the 3, you get 12 k squared plus 6k plus 1 and then we can factorize out to 2 6k squared plus 3k plus 1 which is definitely odd because it's 2 times something plus 1. In the previous question you could this is not allowed 3 times something plus 1 that doesn't prove anything it doesn't prove it's odd it doesn't prove it's even but when it's 2 times something 2 times something is always even and then add 1 and you get an odd number so that's why you couldn't do it for the previous but you can do it for this um, we've proved that um, the rule works when n is even now we're going to prove the rule when n is odd then n can be uh, represented by a 2k plus 1 so then it goes 3 brackets 2k plus 1 squared and 3 lots of 2k plus 1 uh, add 1. Expand your brackets and you're going to get 3 times 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 add 6k plus 3 plus 1. Expand the brackets even further 12k squared plus 12k plus 3 plus 6k plus 4. Uh, expand the bracket. Uh, so it starts to now simplify. So 12k squared plus 18k plus 7. And we're now going to prove um, that it can factorize into 2 times something, add 1. So it's going to be 2 lots of 6k squared, add 9k, add. Okay, we get 7 here. So if I put a 3 in here, that would give me 6 when I expand. Then I'll have the plus one on the side. So it's two times something, um, add one, which makes an odd number. Okay, so we've proved that the rule works for even numbers and we've proved the rule works for odd numbers. So therefore the rule does work for all n existing in the natural numbers. And we need to write a conclusion to this effect. As we have proven our theorem, for n is even and n is odd, we have therefore proven our theorem true for n existing in the natural numbers. Therefore, n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed is odd for all n existing in the natural numbers. And there we are. That's the answer for question 14 with a total of four marks. Let's now move on to question 15.